Hi, this is Pro Bennett from EVCast. I'm here at the New York Auto Show, where uh, we see a lot of cool things. First thing that caught my attention was the video games. I think I'm going to head there right now, spend some of my day playing video games. There's one. Got it. Red. And when you slow down, it'll turn green. So how do I do? Let's see how you slow down. 1335. Because you're on camera, I'm going to be nice and say, that was a great score. Thanks for playing, sir. Thank you. But in real life, you didn't do too well, sir. You didn't do well. You only got 100 points for breaking. You didn't use your break that much. I've seen kids, five-year-old, get 900 points for breaking. You got 100. It's okay, though. Just can't do it. And here I am at the GM booth, and this is the exact thing we were just talking about yesterday on the show. It's the little Segway GM guy, and I'm about to go for a ride in it. Hi, Bo Bennett, PDCast. What's your name? Derek Hunter. Derek, nice to meet you, Derek. Be very careful slipping in here. Okay. Uh, some panels there, just get your feet underneath them. Underneath yeah. the panels. Yep. So what I'm going to ask you to do um, is keep your legs and your feet very loose and very relaxed, because they're going to be okay? So, <laughs> so what we're going to do is take off, push this button right here, Okay. and we're going to slide the cabin back over the wheels, Okay. and now we're balancing. Nice. So to move forward, all we do is push the steering wheel forward, and we'll accelerate. Just, <laughs> slide stop. Just yeah. pull it back. And because balancing technology is nice and fun and awesome, and we're right. two wheels, we can turn the place. Oh, that is nice. What's up? Thank you very much. You're welcome. It was fun. No. <laughs> We're still here in the GM booth, and as you can see right here, we have the 2009 Chevy Volt. That's right, you didn't realize it was out in 2009, but it is. This version, as you can tell, is a little bit less uh, feature-filled than, let's say, the 2011 Chevy Volt. But if you want your Chevy Volt, you want to be driving it today, you want to be the first person, here you go. It doesn't quite come with some of those comforts that you'd expect in a Chevy Volt or a car like seats. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Here we are at the Chrysler booth and as you can see here we have the Lotus, I'm sorry, the, uh, the Tesla, the, uh, the Dodge, the Dodge EV. This is the brand new 2010 Lexus HS250 Hybrid. You may be wondering, you know, I always wanted a really nice luxury car, but I can't afford it. Now you're in luck. Lexus has come out with something entirely new that other manufacturers just didn't think of, the half car. As you can see here, you're only buying half a car. You don't need the other half. You only need the half that you're gonna be driving on. That's what Lexus has put together here. The new half car concept is brilliant, is genius, thanks to Lexus. So next time you're in the market for a new car and you say, you know, I want something really nice but I can't quite afford it, think about the new Lexus H250H hybrid half car concept. You'll like it. This is what we came for, the Fisker Karma right here, right behind me. Now, unfortunately, I'm not ABC or NBC or CBS, not even the Auto Channel, so I don't get a one-on-one -on -one interview with Mr. Fisker. But as you can see, here he is, talking to somebody else who's more important than I am. So I'll pretend I'm interviewing. Mr. Fisker, what made you come up with this idea? This is the 2009 all-electric BMW M3 con What? It's not? It's gas? This is the Toyota 2009 Venza, fully electric, and it... You gotta be kidding me. Gas? Well, I'm sure you probably recognize this car by now. The 2011 Chevy Volt. 
been there, done that, seen it. As you can see, nobody's crowding around it anymore. It's old news. Everybody's around the new stuff, like that cool little two-wheeled go-kart that I was on. That was a fun ride. It's sad to think that this may be the closest we ever get to a Chevy Volt. I think we should just stop and look at this and enjoy the moment because this may be it. This may be it for the Chevy Volt. Here on the floor, demo. It's kind of sad if you think about it. Everybody just bow your heads, moment of silence. I'm here with Mr. Henrik Fisker. How you doing, sir? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. We've got 22 inch wheel standard. Those here. things are huge. They're huge. It reminds me of the big wheel I had when I was a kid. Well, I tell you one thing, it's really good for the high speed stability and the cornering stability of the vehicle. Right. And what it, what we have in the vehicle, of course, the lowest center of gravity point is in the center, which is the best. Extremely low center of gravity. Here comes Faru. She's just explained about the interior, I can see. Does the car come with her? Uh, no. So here's a question for yeah. you. Windmills. What about putting windmills on the car? My friend Ryan is is really for that idea. Well, what it, would you tell Ryan? Well, what I would tell him is it all depends what you want to look like. I don't want to look like a guy that's carrying windmills around. Now, saying that, who knows how small they're going to be in the future? I could imagine maybe windmills sitting behind the radiator. Nice. And the uh, the material on the inside is this is this leather or? Well, in this vehicle, uh, this is a full leather interior. Uh, we call this Eco Sport. The wood that is in the vehicle doesn't come from living trees, it's all rescued wood either from the California fires right. or from uh, the, this, uh, the bottom of the lake. How about the weather? Did the cows die from natural causes? Uh, no, they probably didn't because then it wouldn't be that nice. Damn. Yeah.